Hello everyone, so this might be my most complicated video yet uh, because there is no way to simplify certain things about the Ohadi, but worry not because I will explain nicely as usual. <music> So one interesting thing about African music genres is their sound and style was heavily influenced by the instruments that were traditionally played in that area. For example, in Zimbabwe, the existence of the mbira led to the invention of a genre called chimurenga, and it also had its influences in sungura and all those other genres. So the existence of the ohadi in South Africa led to certain genres like uh, the genre that Busim Fongo uh, sang, uh, I'll need your help here. So if you know the name of the genre, put it in the comments. And also a bit of Tandiswa Mazwai and uh, Miriam Makeba long ago. So let's just jump straight to the examples. <laughs> underestimating the humble ohadi can you believe that a whole music style and genre with many instruments came out of a single stringed instrument that can only produce two notes and it gets even better because besides those two notes the ohadi also produces overtones which i explained nicely in the first Ohadi tutorial. It's about to get more tricky now, so pay more attention from now on. So let's just jump straight to the bottom line. So whenever you pluck a string of any instrument, it produces more than one note. Uh, but you don't hear the other notes because they are just so much quieter than the, than the fundamental note or the loudest or the main note that the string is producing. But uh, the Ohadi comes along with this color bash that amplifies the overtones. And if you use the major scale to create your melodies or harmonies on the Ohadi, uh, problems arise because of reasons that are best demonstrated using the guitar. So let's open the guitar now. And let's imagine this is an Ohadi with frets. So the first overtone you hear is the me like Do. And for you to find that me on the guitar here, you count four frets up like this. So when you play the second note on the Ohadi, it's like we put a capo here and for us to find the overtone, we count four frets again. And I'm sure you can see the problem here. The overtone falls between the notes of the major scale, causing a clash. So the closer people could hear this clash and their solution to this clash was to just move the note of the major scale from here to here. And instead of the scale going, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, it will go, do, re, mi, fi, sol, la, ti, do. So the good news is the people who invented the major scale knew about this problem uh, with uh, differences in cultures and whatnot. So they made six additional versions of the major scale or six other modes of the major scale. And the mode that is used uh, for Kosa, I mean, uh, bow music is called the Lydian mode. And this is the main difference that gives the music its 
its unique sound. And it's a great thing that younger artists are still studying and popularizing uh, this instrument and one of them actually gave me pointers to this episode and I'll link to her channel below, it's, it's really good. So this is just the beginning of bowed instruments, there are many different kinds of bowed instruments and it's not only from the Kosa, uh, also the Zulu have their own versions of bowed instruments so we'll look at all of those in future episodes, that's why you need to subscribe and like the video so that you don't miss it. Wish you